Hi folks, the guys at Games Workshop have sent me this model free of charge to build and review and stuff and put up on the YouTubes. So let's have a look. This is an Uruk Warclans Swamp Boss Scumdreck. So it's a, um, a thing in your model, it's a cruel boy model. And from looking at the box, it looks like there are two variant builds. And I had a, I had a peek at the uh, rule book. The cellophane's reflecting. Let me get rid of the cellophane. Okay, so I've added a dose of cellophane be gone, but unfortunately it's also cat come here. Um, so yeah, I think from looking at the book, there's uh, basically two builds for this. The Snatcher Boss on Sludge Raker Beast is the generic one i think you're not a sludge raker beast are you let me no um and the swamp boss scumdreck is the character he's specific to one of the uh i want to say clans uh so i will probably go for the generic build because special characters, for me, tie you to their story and where they can and can't be. So I prefer to use generic ones. Right, what have we got? Okay, empty box, good O. Cat's feet. Also good, but contextually annoying. Uh, oval base. Booklet. I haven't seen one of these new third ed booklets yet. I wonder how different they are. Swamp Boss Gumdrag. Yep, two optional builds. Swamp Boss, Snatcher Boss. With using the uh, the colour, the colour uh, formations. Here we go. Snatcher Boss on Sludge Raker Beast is the one. Ah, no. Hang on. Ah, yes. So one to three. Uh, generic, I think, I hope. And why is that blue and that's blue? Is that, oh, yeah, all right, yes, you're very, very cute, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the YouTubes. Okay. So first thing I need to do is work out whether these the blue bits on steps one to three are actually variant assemblies or whether... You're going to lie down now, aren't you? Are actually variant assemblies. Or if that's just a bad choice of colour in the instructions. I mean, they don't look like variant assemblies. I mean, oh, these, these look optional, are they? Now, if you look at the picture, both... Scumdrek and the generic guy both have the sort of um, cages across their shoulders to carry victims. Ah, oh, no furry victims. All right, I'm going to placate the cat, then come back. Okay, so here we have the finished model. And, ah, oh, it's just so good. It's just so detailed. Like these catcher nets with the... The spikes that go through the holes. I mean, they're sort of like this is a, this is a separate piece of the bottom, and the things just slide into it. And you know, like they're off balance. And there's a little one here, and all the sort of droopy, sort of rotting leather, and the uh, the snatcher boss. I have to say, I prefer the model for um, a scumdreck, but. Given I might actually want to use it at some point with my cruel boys, I've gone for the model that I'll actually be able to play rather than the one that I think looks prettiest. I mean, it just looks like the keys hanging off there and and these chains. Uh, chains. Ah, oh, it's a gorgeous model. Although I haven't quite glued it straight onto the base, and that's messing with my OCD. It's not quite straight. Oh, or is it? Does it just not look straight from a book because of the way the model lopes? Mm, don't know. But time to go and undercoat it and work out how I am going to paint it. 
Of course, I've got to work out what colour I'm going to undercoat it. I think I'm going to do it Corvus Black because there's a lot of metal work. And I think the first thing I'll do is dry brush all the metal work with lead belcher. And I need to look up some of the painting techniques for various bits of it and see if there's any way I can do it by painting the whole model with base colours and then ink it all with one wash because then that makes it super, super, super duper quick. If I can give it some a coat of good old Agrax once I've blocked in all the base colours. You never know. Let's see. Okay, so the fella has been undercoated. And oh, I'm looking forward to this. There's just so much really cool detail that I'm hoping I can still do really super quick. <laughs> I suspect that to be a forlorn hope. Um, okay, so looking up how to paint crawboy flesh, that needs a, th uh, a wash in a Thonian camo shade. So I can't do that at the same time as the rest of the model. But because there's only teensy bit of crawboy flesh, I'm gonna do that last and try and do the whole rest of the model first. Um, now look at the box art. I want to try and oh, big glare. I want to try and recreate that colour for the um, uh, for the beast, the swamp beast. Sorry, sludge raker beast. Um, so I need a green that looks paler than the sorry darker than the cruel boy skin. So I'm going to try death guard green as a base. That will then obviously get inked on top of, and then some dry brushing. I don't know if that's too dark though. The other options were Elysian Green, which I think looks too bright. That's this one. And then uh, Ogryn Camo, which I wonder if it looks too light. So it, there's going to be a lot of trial and error with this one I think but that's what I'm going to stick with in the same vein as trial and error I need something for the wood that's basically going to soak up the Agrax um, I'm now doubting my choice I don't think Mornfang is going to work particularly well I think I wonder if I never normally use this for anything else. I never normally only ever use Steel Legion Drab for bases, but maybe Steel Legion Drab with an ink over it. Yeah, let's give that a go. I'm going to need a colour for the sort of different types of wood, so I've now got options in sort of Mornfang Brown and XV88. Bit of. Uh, I've sort of pulled out. You know, your shabby bone for teeth, but I'll be honest, I'm a few colours. Well, I haven't quite got the, uh, I haven't worked out what I'm going to do the cloth in yet. I do like the the cut, the notion of the colour on here, but the the book says it's like stegodon green with layers over it, and that that's too much hassle. So I'm going to try. And work something else out. I might go back and look at the basic how to paint a crawl boy guide on Warhammer TV and see if I can adapt something from that. Um, now, what they have done here is the different wood, the different beams, the different colours. Maybe do I want to do something with that? I don't think I do. I think that's a level of detail that is beyond my ken. Um, so this isn't all the colours I'm going to need for the whole model, but I should be able to do... That's right, more fine brown. That's why I had this out. It's for his spines and his tail. Uh, I'll see what gaps are left on the model, what remains unpainted after I've done all that. So it's a big dry brush of lead belcher first to get all these metal, metal pieces nice and metallized, And then... Death Guard Green on the Scumdrek, Sludge Raker, sorry, Sludge Raker Beast, and then filling in the wood. And then I'm going to see what else is left. And go from there. Okay. Right then, here we are at the halfway point. 
Uh, in th I think I've painted every bit of the model apart from the skin on the Uruk. So, uh, basically, I uh, after I'd done the uh, the skin on the swan, I want to say swan beast. Sludge Raker. I'm going to keep saying Swamp Beast, my mistake, aren't I? After I did the skin on the Sludge Raker, uh, and the, the dry brush, the skin, the skin on the Sludge Raker, and the brown that I knew I wanted for the um, the wood effect. Hello, Lemmy. It's nearly bedtime, so she's keeps telling me it's bedtime because she gets treats at bedtime. It's the sort of bribery situation we've had in. Uh, we've had for the last 14 years and she's like I want my bribe um, then I just picked different browns for different things there's a couple of sort of cut off logs that have got a different brown the rhinox hide on the hide that kind of felt the darkest brown I could get basically oh not enough hands to placate cat um then I picked other browns for other things. I, on the box, the, um, the Sludge Raker... Boom, nailed it. Has got really sort of manky brown nails. So I've used... What's that? Tau Lice Ochre? Tau Lice Ochre? Tau Lice Ochre as a base. And I'm going to try building that up with all sorts of different... Uh, possibly some contrast to try and make it look skankier at the root of the nail. Um, uh, different, a slightly lighter brown for the leather and all the leather thonging. Uh, I mean, I could go. I mean, you could go to extremes and do everything slightly different, but that's it's not how I roll. Uh, and then a different brown for his tail spines. Not quite sure how that's going to work, but. We are basically, I say we, because I L Lemmy's part of the team. So we, fourth person, are going to slather it in uh, in hot sauce. No, in Agrax Earthshade. And, oh, hello, hello. Yes, I know. Is the phone yours now? Is the phone yours now? Yeah. So we're going to basically cover it. There it is. There it is. We're going to cover it in Agrax uh, and let's see what it looks like when it's dry tomorrow. Uh, then uh, work out what to do. Like, well, there's obviously the Uruk skin and the base, but then uh, work out what else to do, what sort of dry brushes and highlights it needs. Uh, dry brushing and highlights, I try and avoid wherever I can. Well, dry brushing I'm cool with, but highlights I try and avoid. So we will see what it looks like after we have Agraxed this baby up. Okay, so here we are the next day, and I am reasonably pleased with the effect. Um, I've also bunged some sterling mud on the base. Tempted to see if I can do some sort of swamp water puddles on it, but I'm, I'm going to come back to that. I'll pro that will probably depend on how fatigued I am after I've done the rest of it. So the the metal needs a bit more dirtying up. Um. So I'm not quite sure how I'll do that. I don't particularly want to go down the rust route because my nice horns are rusty. I'd rather these were just skanky. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to achieve that. The dark brown leather I'm quite pleased with, with the Rhinox hide with the uh, Agrax over it. I don't think I'm going to need to do a huge amount to that, except maybe a bit of a highlight on some of the creases. Uh, not sure. The effect on the skin I quite like. Um... I just want to lighten it a little bit with a bit of dry brushing and possibly an additional lighter colour. Um, so I'm going to dry brush it with the Death Guard Green and then maybe with Ogryn Camo on top. Um, wood, I'm reasonably happy with. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's just, it looks like wood. So I'll take that. Uh, the bits I am less happy with are these spines underneath. I mean, if you read the rules, this is meant to be like really, really, really messed up, skanky swamp gank. Um, and they use it to put on their weapons to make them more sort of necrotic. Uh, that looks far too clean. And the spines on the tail. 
not very keen on that either. So I'm going to try and see. I'm going to look for a contrast paint and try and just make that look all skanky. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do the whole, try and make the whole belly a different tone. Um, I feel like the belly would be lighter. Well, not on this, I suppose. It would be darker and skankier. Uh, possibly a different colour as a base, but I've already done the base. Uh, hindsight and all. Uh, I just need to skank up these claws a bit more. Again, I'm going to look for a contrast to build it up from the root and something similar with the teeth. I remember doing um, something with my uh, Gloom Spite Squig Hoppers. Um, on the teeth, I think it was a yellow I used to make them look all... Blah. So I may do something similar there. And obviously I've got the flesh to do on the cruel boy himself. I think I'm going to do that last so it doesn't get in the way of dry brushing or anything. Um, mm. Right, bit of head scratching. And then I'll come back to you and see. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, that. Okay, so I've dry brushed the flesh with a bit of um, Death Guard Green and then a little bit of Ogre Camo, Ogre and Camo on some of the folds to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. That seems to have done a reasonable job. A um, couple of tiny highlights with Rhinox on the big creases in the leather. Not really done very much there. I've used Gorgunta fur on the tail to sort of blend that in to the uh, the flesh, something similar underneath um, on the sort of hangy downy skanky bits. Uh, oh, same colour on the tips of the nails and toes, just to make those look a bit more manky. And a bit of uh, whatever it's called, something different, one of the yellow, Nazgrag, Naz, something yellow on the teeth, make them look a little bit more rotten. Um, on some sporadic iron breaker highlights on the um, on the metal, like the cages, I've not aimed for any particular bits. I've just sort of sp put bits and bats around just to occasionally catch the lights a bit more. I'm not sure what else I can do with the metal to make it a bit more skanky, so I'm just going to leave it, I think. Um... I'll wait to see what the finished result looks like, but that's that's what I'm thinking at the minute. Um, bit of dry brushing on the base to bring out the dirt. I don't want it to look too uh, light, so I want to keep it still reasonably dark. And I've blotched on some Nurgle's Rot to make it look a little bit swampy. And I'm going to add lots of clumps of static grass around it, so hopefully that will achieve an effect. So now... Uh, I am going to do the skin on the Cruel Boy. Okay, so here we have the finished thing. So, the um, I'm quite pleased with the effect of the flesh. Actually, I used the scheme out of the uh, uh, the army book, uh, the battle term. That's the word. You see, I didn't start saying codex. I, I, I didn't have the right word. I, I didn't have the wrong one there. So it's... Um, what's this called? Oruk Flesh. Good. Good start. Uh, an ink of Athonian Camo Shade. And then a little bit of highlighting with uh, Ogre and Camo. So a little bit more effort on this guy. Because he's the... I was going to say pilot. Rider. So a couple of splodges on his knuckles. And a couple of streaks on his head. Hang on. Can I... Tap the thing with my nose to make it focus on his head. Well, I could tap the thing, but it didn't make it focus. Um, so that's that's that looks okay. I mean, it's not perfect. The feet aren't great, uh, but meh. No one looks at feet, and there is an orc. He's skanky. That's fine. That's two foot fine. Now on the base, I've used different types of tufts. Now I could probably have done with a rock or two on here for the bigger base. I really should probably get myself some little pebbles that I can just use for this kind of thing. But using a combination of uh, different army paint of scorched tufts, mountain tufts, swamp tufts, I think clumping them round the Nurgle's rock creates a sort of a bit of a swampy effect. I'm quite pleased with that. 
I think that'll look really good across the board on loads of uh, Oryx. But there we are. Once again, a big thank you for, to GW for sending this through to me. Uh, and uh, this should be up for pre-order already. Hopefully, I will be able to get this video up before it's on general release, but uh, after the uh, after the you can use it now window. So yeah, hopefully I will get this up onto the YouTubes tonight. So thank you for watching. Um, tiny bit of capitalism before I go. If you want to support me, uh, check out my channel memberships. Uh, I've got um, battle reports, hobby vlogs. It's mostly 40k stuff in there, but increasingly I'm getting more and more uh, Age of Sigmar stuff in there too. The other thing that you can do to help me is if you shop at Element Games, if you want a code for extra crystals, check out the description. Um... Uh, crystals are like store credit and if you click on the affiliate link in the email in the in the email in the in the description it tells them you have come from me and it's great when they know you've come from me uh yeah and that's it for this uh for this video first one of these i've done where i've been sent a model to do and i very much enjoyed doing it of course it's the only model i've got in the army um i i now have to paint build and paint a cruel boy's army, but you know, you know, swings and roundabouts. All right, take care, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye for now.